Hey everybody, it's Gail and I am here with Mank who lost a foot again and um, we have this absolutely gorgeous and flowy and elegant 1930s cape. So this cape is actually part of a much larger pattern that includes uh, a full length evening gown and a belt. So it's, it's one of those, you know, make everything the same color. It's all very beautiful. And I started with the cape because I wanted to get used to the stitch pattern before I devoted myself to an entire dress that I would have to alter the measurements on because my hips are not the hips from the 1930s. And um, I'm really glad I did because the cape on its own uh, took a little over a year. And it's not so much that the lace pattern is difficult, it is a two row repeat. And it's not even that it's lace in, uh, in terms of size. You know, I've done a lot of thread crochet, it's similar sizing. The reason it took so long was a couple of things. First of all, it's it starts out much larger at the bottom than it is at the top because uh, you know, that's how you get the draping, which I can show you. Look at this gorgeous draping. Look at that move. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and so to get the draping, you work it much larger at the bottom than you do at the top. And so you start with a couple of hundred stitches you have to make. And then the way that this lace pattern works is that you're doing cluster stitches for both rows on the pattern. So you do a cluster stitch on the first row and then you do a different cluster stitch on the next row and you just build those two up over and over to get the final result. And when you're doing a cluster stitch versus doing say you know a, a, an individual stitch in a row like a double crochet or um, any other stitch it takes a lot more time because what you're actually doing to form the shape of the design is working several stitches in one stitch over and over and over again. And so while it only started out as a couple of hundred stitches, actually probably doing uh, 500 stitches a row. Like, I don't think that my number there is too far off. It might actually be low. Uh, and it gets you this beautiful pattern um, that, you know, it gets you a beautiful pattern. It gives a beautiful drape. This, you know, it was a great project to work with, but my God, it took forever. Um, and so you make the body of the cape and then you make the collar of the cape and you sew them together. And at the bottom of the collar, you make these wonderful, beautiful tassels that I, anytime I wear this, I end up playing with the tassels cause they're just pretty. Um, and, you know, then you have the cape. But, like, once I finished with this, the idea of making a whole dress was just not in the cards anymore. Like, we will put that pattern away for a while. We will come back to it when I'm in the mood to spend a lot of time with a lot of lace weight yarn. Um, so this lace weight in particular is Knit Picks Luminance. And I'm sorry to say that this colorway no longer exists, which is very disappointing because I don't have enough left over to you know, just kind of store away until I'm ready to make the gown. The gown's going to have to be a different color. Um, but also it's just a really beautiful purple. Um, and all of the luminance colors are gorgeous. Uh, but it is also a very expensive yarn. It's like 20, I think it's $21 a skein usually because it's silk and it's hand dyed. And I mean, I totally get it. You get a lot of yardage for the skein, but still a little pricey. Um, but you know, there's a lot of lace weight options out there that are not um, as as big on the price point. And really, as long as you have something that's got some movement to it, uh, you're going to have a beautiful object. Now, as is the case with vintage patterns that I work for some reason, uh, there is an error in this one. That's not fair. Not all of the patterns have errors, but you know what I mean. So there is an error. Uh, I will bring it up on the screen to show you basically the way that they describe doing the uh, decreases to start bringing the cape in it doesn't work. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So I have gone and 
figured out an answer to that. It is on the Vintage Pattern Errata page on my blog, which is linked in the basement. I will also be linking to a place where you can buy this cape pattern with the dress and the belt. Uh, so if you are brave enough to go full lace weight for a while, um, you're going to have a great look. Um, obviously, as it's a 1930s pattern, if uh, you are not built particularly small, you're going to have to do some math on the dress and the belt. But uh, the cape itself does not need such considerations. So, you know, start there. Um... I think that's the whole shebang on this one. I love this piece. I've been trying to come up with reasons to wear it. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun to pair with stuff. Of course, I have no photos of that because that would make sense. Um, as always, if you enjoy what I do here, please like, subscribe, share, um, leave a comment. Always happy to talk. And uh, I update when I update, so I will see you when I update.